Hey, what is going on dudes? My name is Mitch, or Beijing Canadian, and welcome aboard to the concluding segment of the How Deep Is The Void Minecraft World Record Experiment. For the past eight days here on the channel, there's been a live stream of my character dropping endlessly into the void trying to find the bottom. And that's led us to the question here today of how deep is the void? Is there actually a bottom that you can even find? Will the game eventually crash or will the void continue endlessly? Now for us to better understand that question and help us find the answer, we need to understand the concept of terminal velocity, which is the maximum distance in the form of number of blocks a player can travel per second on the y-axis. In Minecraft, the terminal velocity of a player is 78.4 meters per second. Now just understand that every block is considered to be one meter in Minecraft. So effectively, it means 78.4 blocks per second. Now here's an interesting fact for you. You cannot reach terminal velocity while in survival mode. If you build all the way up to maximum build height of 256 blocks positive on the Y axis, and then drop all the way to the bottom layer of the bedrock, you can only reach roughly 70 blocks per second. So now that we know what terminal velocity is in Minecraft, we can calculate how long in real time it will take to reach each of the possible bottom bottom out points for the Minecraft Void. Now before I share those results with you, I want to mention that part of our objective with this experiment was to determine if there were any soft limit points while falling through the void. Meaning, does Minecraft have anything in its code that would cause the void to end abruptly and players to reach the bottom? We were told by a few friends that there may be limit points at approximately 32 million blocks deep into the void, or at the very least we may start to see several glitches like the lighting bugging out or the player character model going haywire. We were curious to see if there'd be anything similar to finding the far lands or flying really high up into the air and seeing lighting bugs occur. So here we go. Falling at terminal velocity of 78.4 blocks per second, you would hit the max 32 bit value after 7,608 hours or 317 days of real life free falling into the void. So actually it's possible. You would only find yourself seeing the maximum 64 bit value into the void after a measly 32 billion hours or 3 million 700 130,500 years, so unless you've got a time machine or a way to live forever, it's not happening. Now before I share how long it would take to hit the max double value, let's do a little math here. So at 78.4 meters per second, you can travel 4,704 blocks per minute. 282,240 blocks per hour, 6,773,760 blocks per day, and 2,472,422,400 blocks per year. So with that math in mind, this is a really, 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 really big number. So you gotta take 17 and add 308 zeros to the end of that. Then you gotta divide it by our maximum blocks per year and you're gonna get this number. A number so big, it cannot even be described in words. The number is still 299 characters long, so I think it's safe to say that the human species would have evolved several hundred times over or organ extinct, and we might have seen a few black holes along our way, and who knows? This, that, that is like, that is an absurd number. The universe could have ended. That's how big that number is. Now as a brain teaser random side note, after doing my own experimenting and playing around with some numbers by teleporting my character throughout the void via console command, I found a limit of some sort. I'm not really sure exactly how to back this up, but my best guess is that somewhere between having a negative value that is 16 characters long and 17 characters long, that's where the game ends up crashing and having a problem. It gives you this illegal stance boot message, and I can't locate the exact position because obviously that is a really, really large range between 16 and 17 characters. Regardless, I can't get my character to warp any lower. Anytime I teleport beyond the 16 character limit, the game kicks me for illegal stance. Now you can play around with those limits via console because I found if I were to start my 16 character thread off with the number five, it would immediately give me the illegal stance. But if I use the number two, it would not. 
So the limit is probably somewhere in that range. Again, a really, really massive number. I'm not sure how you would pinpoint it other than maybe locating it somehow in the game's code, or perhaps it's just the game's version as well, depending on what one you play on might have different limits. It's really, really tricky to know. Regardless, we, we sort of found the bottom of the void, and we also discovered that if you wanted to hit the biggest value in Java code, it would take you, well, a long time. A very long time. 299 characters were the long times. And with that, we're going to conclude this live stream and wrap up this educational video here on The Void. Thank you all very, very much for watching. I hope you all learned something today. And please do not forget to click the like button if you found this video to be interesting. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below if you're new here. I also hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week. And also, please, no stress, there will not be another world record gigantic live stream like this for a little while. However, I do have some plans for some very cool rerun live streams where I get to showcase some of my old content that some of my brand new subscribers may not have seen before, as well as the vast audience of people looking for Minecraft videos online may have also not had a chance to see yet. I'm very excited for it because it's going to be really cool to see what new people think about the old content I created back when my channel was really exploding, and I think a lot of you out here watching who've seen those old things will love the nostalgia, so it's going to be a a lot of fun. I'm super excited for it. And that's where I'm going to end this video. Thank you again for watching. Have an awesome week. Goodbye.